Some of the common problems or objections that we have with the makeup during cleansing oil is that they don't wear makeup or they're opposed to using oils on their skin. They're afraid that they're gonna cause them to break out. One of the best reasons to use oil as a cleanser is it helps break down oil impurities on your skin. It breaks down your dirt, your sebum, pollution, dust, anything that's in the air that you've been exposed to throughout the day without stripping your skin of excess oil and it leaves your skin soft and smooth. The biggest difference between the makeup, dirt, and cleansing oil and the activated charcoal cleansing oil is really gonna be your skin type. If you have more oily and breakout prone skin, we highly suggest that you use the activated charcoal cleansing oil. Since your skin is ultra sensitive, the Makeup Dirt and Cleansing Oil is fantastic, and it's going to help smooth and soften and condition your skin without leading to any additional sensitivities. The ingredients in this product are high in omega-6 fatty acids, vitamin E, and antioxidants. Cleansing the skin is very important, and at night, we typically recommend dual cleansing with the Makeup Dirt and Cleansing Oil and then followed by the Rose Water Cleanser. This helps make sure that you're going to bed with squeaky clean skin, at nighttime, our skin repairs and rejuvenates itself. We want to make sure that we give it its optimal efficiency to be able to do that with clean skin. Our rose water cleanser is the safety net. It makes sure that all of the grime and dirt and bacteria from the day are gone. It doubles as a hydrating blemish control if you're breakout prone. And the rose water is excellent for reducing redness and inflammation in the skin. One of the most common concerns we get about our rose water cleanser is are essential oils safe for the skin? And they are, as long as they're used in skin safe ratios. All of our formulations, all of the essential oils used are for their skin nourishing benefits and properties and not specifically for their scent. And they're also well below skin safe ratios. One of the other common concerns we get about the rose water cleanser is it doesn't foam. And how does that work for my skin? So most foaming cleansers are full of drying detergents and they can evict too much oil and too much hydration from your skin. Our rose water cleanser is a non-foaming cleanser and it helps remove um, water-based impurities from your skin without stripping your skin of excess oil. The rose water cleanser is great for your skin type, ultra sensitive. It can help reduce inflammation and redness in the skin. Some of the most common concerns we hear about the intense hydration facial mist are, do I really need to use this? And the answer is, we'd love for you to try it. It's wonderful, it's a great addition into your routine. Do you have to use it? No, um, but it does really help seal in any moisturizer that you're using um, at the end of your routine. It is also very calming and uplifting and it deeply nourishes and moisturizes the skin. Another common concern or question that we hear is, how is this sealing in my moisturization? And it's sealing in the hydration of your skin. Most traditional um, moisturizers and lotions, they're made with waters or hydrosols and then oils and conditioners or butters, and then there are a bunch of other stuff to keep water and oil together. Um, in our line, we have those separate. It's uh, more adjustable for the skin type, so that way if you need additional hydration, you can saturate your skin with the mist and then apply your moisturizer on top. It allows the moisturizer to sink deeper into the skin without sitting on top of the skin. So what, part of the reason why it's a little bit different than traditional skincare lines is that you're able to apply this in a way that is unique to you for your skin. If you need additional hydration, i.e. water or the hydrosol into your skin, you're able to mist your skin more and then use the correct amount or the suitable amount for your skin type of moisturizer afterwards. This is very cooling. You can put it in the refrigerator to just give it a little additional of that cooling um, properties and helps reduce the redness and inflammation in your skin. For ultra sensitive skin like yours, the Intense Hydration Facial Mist is deeply nourishing, calming, and it has great anti-inflammatory properties. Some of the common concerns that we hear about the Repairing Facial Serum is how is this gonna help with dark spots or hyperpigmentation? The Repairing Facial Serum is excellent at helping reduce redness, hyperpigmentation and blotchiness, or any other discoloration concerns you may have with your skin. Another common question we hear about the Repairing Facial Serum is why is this the last step in my routine and why wasn't I 
recommended another moisturizer. For skin that is mature or more dry, we recommend using the Repairing Facial Serum as an additional layer of hydration and moisture before adding in your final moisturizer. For ultra-sensitive skin like yours, the Repairing Facial Serum is going to help reduce the redness and blotchiness that your skin may have.